Right guys, Mike Crossfield here. More swing terms coming at you. Let's talk dynamic loft. So everyone hopefully understands loft. So if we take an angle here and bend the club back or not, that's the degrees of loft. Let's talk about what we mean when I talk about dynamic loft. Let's get stuck in. So golf terms, you hear lots of these and I write about them a lot and sometimes people question them. So I'm doing a little series on what these terms mean and how they can affect your golf game. Let's talk dynamic loft. So we are talking the loft delivered at impact. Now this is a key number I use in coaching because each club has a static loft. So a loft that the manufacturers give you, put the club in a vise and set it up with a face, which is say at zero, so pointing at the target with the desired amount of shaft lean or not subject to the sole. So how the club has been built and there is a static loft. Now what happens when you hit the shot, good players, as a general rule of thumb, will manipulate through the dynamics of how they're hitting the ball. They'll change that dynamic loft. The general rule with irons is they're decreasing the dynamic loft. With drivers, they're increasing the dynamic loft. So people often talk about hitting their balls too high, hitting their balls too low, too much spin, not enough spin, those kind of things. Dynamic loft is a number I'll measure and look at and use to help them understand why they're getting the ball flight that they're getting. It's a key number for you guys controlling ball flight. Now the next thing that will happen is when good players are playing is dynamic loft is something that they will try and control differently, dynamically, in a round of golf. So dynamic loft guys is key for controlling ball flight. It's got real influences over spin and obviously direction the ball will launch so height it'll launch at those kind of things now to move the dynamic loft on a golf club you have to try and understand it in the three-dimensional world that we live in so for me moving dynamic loft is about let's say i want to increase dynamic loft it's not about pulling the handle back so pulling the handle back for me just makes the face point left in my head so what i'm saying if i want to add dynamic loft i would pull the handle back so that's pointing the face left, and then I'm gonna twist it back towards, say, pointing at zero, and there's my loft, there's my added angle, which I could now use to try and hit the ball higher. So I'm gonna start in a funky position. I now know as well it might affect my ball flight spin-wise with the way I'm doing this, but by twisting that club around the axis of the shaft, that's adding loft, it's also pointing the face to the right, so I might choose to aim left, I might choose to have the handle back, I might lower the handle because that would point the loft back towards target. So I'm using three ways to manipulate that dynamic loft. I'm using turning it around the axis of the shaft, I'm using handle back or handle forwards, and then I'm also using lie to try and manipulate dynamic loft and where that face points. And that is the key thing that people totally, totally get wrong when they're thinking or trying to manipulate dynamic loft. Um, what I do with my kind of performance students, my better students, and I do it with some of the amateurs as well when they get comfortable with uh, how they're hitting the ball, is I work a lot on trying to get them to understand how to present different lofts and what kind of shape of shots happen. So changing ball positions, changing where their pressure is at the beginning, changing twists that they put in from the start to try and control that dynamic loft in a way to try and control maybe height. So lower shots, higher shots. Also control shapes. So if I want to hit a high draw, well, I've got a control face the path, but I'm going to have to control dynamic loft as well to try and make sure I get the height part of the, of the shot. So the face the path would control the direction, so the curvature, but I'm going to try to control the height part with the loft I deliver. Delivering loft or the loft desired is a real skill. There we go, guys. Dynamic loft, it's key. It's a fundamental that you'll see people on your, around your golf courses and certainly on the telly playing with all day long in a round of golf. They'll be moving it degrees. And I've even done games with students where we call dynamic loft numbers out. So hit a shot at their standard number and then try and move it by four or five degrees up or down. And what you'll find is skilled players can do that. Lots of amateurs have no idea how to do that. They're on the range practicing the perfect position swing but they have no idea how to control dynamic loft. Now, for me, that means you're not actually practicing golf. You're practicing pretty pictures, uh, pretty looks in a golf swing. If you watch any of my course vlogs, you'll hear us constantly talking about how we're playing the shot. How are you going to play this one? I'm going to knock this one down. I'm going to hit this high. I'm going to hit softer. I'm going to hit harder. All those kind of things might encourage a different dynamic loft 
presented. Dynamic loft, the loft that you present at impact. If you don't understand what loft you present, go and get measured. And also you can't enter into the discussions, particularly of hitting the ball too high or too low, or I spin my driver too much or not. It's not the club. One of the key ingredients for affecting spin and launch is dynamic loft. Get it measured. Post comments down below, hope that helps. A uh, little series of videos just talking about general golf terms to try and help you guys understand A, what I'm talking about and what other students or uh, instructors are talking about and hopefully getting you to understand what you need to control and think about to play some better golf. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching, post comments as always, and see you soon.